Hickman Ursek, CEO of Western Union. Great to see you here at your Denver headquarters. Thank you. You see how nice here is. Beautiful. The backdrop <laughs> is beautiful. Let's get right to it and talk about mobile payments. It's going to be a $30 billion industry next year compared to about $9 billion this year. What's your take on the growth we've been seeing in mobile payments? Well, it shows us uh, immediately how the customer behaviors are changing. People want to have their uh, day-to-day uh, needs to pay via mobile phones as they pick up the phone or messaging or going internet uh, usage or you know even surfing. Uh, things are all done by a mobile and one of the things they want to do is also payments via mobile. Um, so it is definitely a huge growth area. Also Western is very focused. The, our largest growth area on the cross-border money transfer is the mobile part. Uh, people are using more and more mobile, especially in the US, you could see that uh, you know, growing very, very fast. Because when you think about mobile payments, nowadays at least it's social payments. What do you make of the growing popularity of outlets like Venmo? Well, uh, Venmo is a great company. I think, you know, people, uh, uh, all of them do, you know, many transactions. It's fast, easy. It's, you know, people are using it. Uh, but what they can't do is that, or not offering yet, and they don't have the capability is that our, our presence in cross-border, cross-currency. Internationally. Our presence internationally. Uh, it's easy, as I said, it's easier to uh, send money from Denver to Los Angeles. Uh, if you do it, you can do it with Venmo, but it's not easy to send money from uh, from um, from Denver to Mumbai via Venmo. Coming back to your version of Venmo, which is Woo Connect, at what point did you guys look around and say, "Hey, the industry is changing. We need to act." Well, uh, obviously, uh, I didn't sit in my corner office and said, oh, Scott, I have an idea. <laughs> obviously, the industry, the customer need case, the customers were telling us, uh, telling us that they would like to have more um, access points to Western Union and also connect with their loved ones globally. But are you guys late to the game on this one? Because, you know, Venmo, don't, don't they have the first mover advantage? No, they don't because they don't do the international transfer. And we are focused on international. The Venmo is focused on the national payments. We are focused on internationally. Payments. So you're not trying to target Venmo's users and bring them to Western Union? No, it's not. We are not focused on the, uh, on the national payments, domestic uh, money transfer. We are uh, focused on the cross-border money transfer. Moving on to the future of the mobile payment space, of course we're seeing Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Android Pay. Uh, what's your take on some of these services? You know, we have to, uh, we have to differentiate between payments and uh, moving money cross-border. I think all of them are great, great uh, moving and you know I think mobile payment will be like Apple Pay, it's a great company and going really in that sector but others also in the social, uh, social media area, Facebook or Google all, all going that direction. What they want is that they want to offer the customer a new service besides only communicating with your phone or you know downloading apps, only, only having information services, also real services. And real services only happen if money moves. Because you can send money, but you really need the channels, the lanes to do so. Yeah, and don't forget also uh, on the other side, on the receive side, the use cases are different. Uh, on Venmo, you need two mobile phones, right? On the receive side, the most of the uh, needs are still cash or on an account. Do you think credit cards are becoming obsolete? Uh, credit cards not. I mean, credit card, end of the day, it's nothing has got a number, 16-digit number, a prefix number, which uh, identifies you, you know. Uh, probably the usage of plastic will come less, right? The people won't care plastic, uh, plastic, but the credit card number will be still on your phone like the Apple Pay, which I use. How many more years do you think credit cards have? I don't know, I can't, because it depends really on the country by country. In some countries, the development on, a, uh, on the credit cards will be always here, as I said, but not as a card, uh, on an, as a number on some countries on a mobile phone. In some countries, will be continue to exist. And, and, but one thing is clear, I think cash will exist longer than any, anything. Why is that? Because the central banks want to issue cash. They want to control the amount, you know, the yeah, central banks really understand what the value of the economy is. That's why you issue uh, money. All right. What about Bitcoin? Is that something that's going to shake up mobile payments? Well, on the, on the Bitcoin side, it's a big subject, as you know. Yeah? I don't uh, believe that, co you know, if people ask me, what do you believe on Bitcoin? I say, I believe on the bit side, but not on the coin side. <laughs> uh, bit side, the blockchain uh, is very interesting technology. I think, uh, you know, more and more payment systems or other industries will join the blockchain. 
uh, part, and it's really uh, moving information in a unique way, a unique way worldwide, peer-to-peer uh, -peer connections. On the coin side, I, you know, we have to think about the use cases, and if you, you know, one day, I love to take you to Nicaragua or to Guatemala or to Vietnam. You will see that uh, they are, these people are far away to using a Bitcoin. And finally, what's next for Western Union? Well, I believe the next for Western Union is definitely entering to new customer segments in a multi-product, multi-channel environment. Which could be? Which could be WooConnect, which could be uh, social media, which could be uh, B2B connection and also C2B connection. One thing is clear, we are the, um, we are the experts on cross-border cross-currency. Hikmet Ersek, CEO of Western Union, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Scott. Thank you.